they will come for it. My sons, what I've invented could be very dangerous. Vent Room by Afti, Spotted Beauty by Kenya Film School, Element Trailer by KCA University, and Coated by KU University. We kindly request that you put your phones on silent. You might just get a popcorn. Thank you and enjoy the films. Just you, me, this pile of work.
So you think you can get me back by sending me those useless flowers? Flowers? Hmm? What flowers? I never sent you any flowers. What do you mean you're not the one who sent me the flowers? I'm not the one who sent you flowers. Not me. Dear Dad and Mum, I hope you are good. I hope this finds you well. If communicating with you was easy, I wouldn't be using a pen and a paper right now. But this has to be said. I have kept it inside for so long, I can't even remember. I am already lost. Not that you would care anyway. You never did. But it's all right. I'm okay with that. Your absenteeism is part of me now. Keep on being invisible. Even when I'm staring right at you. My days have turned into nights. Long, endless nights. The only form of light I experience is in my mind, so fading away into the horizons of hopelessness. Time has no meaning anymore, and I don't care. I will speak the truth. My truth. It is the hardest thing to do, but I will. I am not a coward. I am tossed here and there, like a ragged doll. Sad, but it is you are part of it. You are supposed to be my anchor. 
turns out I am tied to the anchor. I am the anchor. Drowning deep, grasping at sand to steady a ship that I am not even part of. My eyes are wide open, but I see no that which I should and redeem my soul from this imminent destruction. Why am I telling you this? Why am I telling you this? Why am I telling you this? No, 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 you need to hear this. No, you need to hear this. No, you, you need to hear this. You need to hear the whole story. You have to know this. You, you need to hear this. You, you, you have to know this. It is my story. It is like, it is I against the forces of the world. But I have, you have polluted to destroy my essence, my very being. You have to hear this. society forcing me to fit into a mold I do not recognize anymore why are you training me like a puppy who gives you the right in my own I am my own being I am not like you I don't want to be like you because I am already me few decades ahead of me does not give you the right to dictate my entire life. They say I'm born different, but I don't see myself different. I see myself as a normal human being, with two colors for that matter. This is what God gave me, this is my image. I'm beautifully and wonderfully made. My name is Julie Nasuju, and I am 32 years old. I'm a mother of four. I'm a daughter. I am a sister. I'm a model. I'm an entrepreneur. A student doing automotive engineering. A DJ and so many other things in between there. 
I have vitiligo. I see myself as a normal human being, just born with a different color, too for that matter. Vitiligo is a white spot or high pigmented because of lack of melanin. So when there's what we call melanocytes, the melanocytes are cells in the skin that produce melanin. And those melanin, the ones that make you dark, make you brown. If there's lack of melanin, in other words, the melanocytes, which are the cells that are not functioning, then there's no production of melanin. So therefore, the area becomes white. Vitiligo also is um, an autoimmune disease. It's classified among, among them because it's an on and off thing. There are times that my color will come back, like fully, I become darker. And at times I'll go like purely white and the patterns change from time to time. And also, uh, vitiligo has different patterns, like they're classified. Mine is vulgaris. Vulgaris is scattered patterns all over the body. And then there's segmental vitiligo, which affects either the right side or the left side. And then there's focal vitiligo, which comes in one place. And it's if it's the hand, it's the hand only. And then there's acrofacial vitiligo, which is the hands that become white, the face and the, and the feet. It doesn't affect the center part of the body. And then now you have a mixture of oil, which ends up going to universal vitiligo where you become fully white and that's the story or the case that happened with Michael Jackson. My mom was the one who discovered I had vitiligo when I was one and a half years old and um, the first time she, she, she saw she thought that the house girls were burning me or were letting me stay with the napkins and the diapers for a very long time but um, after she had fired like five house helps it's when she decided to go to the hospital to check up what's what's happening with me and it's when she was told that I had vitiligo. She went to five actually hospitals looking for a doctor who could actually diagnose me because everybody didn't know what this was. So after Dr. Bansil diagnosed me with vitiligo is when I started treatment which took like 10 years before I decided I don't want this treatment at all, at all, at all. And during this time, basically my childhood lunch times were taken because I had to go to hospital each and every day during the lunch hour so that I can be able to be put under a light for phototherapy sessions, which was supposed to help us deal with the sun rays when we are outside there. One thing about vitiligo is that we are affected by the sun and so that's why we were being taken for phototherapy sessions at that time. And um, also, there was a cream I used to apply in the morning and in the evening after I shower. And there was uh, some tablets that I used to take. And also now the phototherapy sessions. Phototherapy means that there's some medication that you can take orally or um, spread it, smear it on the skin. You expose the part of the ultraviolet light. And that's what we call phototherapy because you use photo, which is the light. If you have vitiligo, if you could come here, we want to do the 10,000 step challenge. I'll give you a story about like an experience I had like way back in high school. Uh, I was playing handball and uh, we had gone to an open, open ground and the sun was just direct. At that time I did not know I had vitiligo. Uh, I had that like, the sun really affects me having vitiligo so I was just open in the sun and we were playing handball like the whole day and I was seated directly at the sun. That day when we were going back home I was red, my whole face was red and I was, there was this like a caban, like an, an itch that I was feeling. So I assumed it and then the next day we still went out again to play. But by the time we were coming back in the evening I could not even touch my face even just a little bit because of the way I, I, I had swollen, I was really red. And basically what happens at this moment is all the water in my body kinda comes to, the, to these parts that are white. So I started getting like a blister, it's like a boil. So I had to go to hospital and I was admitted for like two weeks, them removing the pus and the water out of my body so that I can come back and be okay.
Growing up with Vishiligo is not something that is easy, considering that you have a color that no one else has. Maybe they have, but they have one that is full, but you have two. So one thing about it, it's not contagious. And another thing, it's kind of triggered by stress because without you accepting it, it ends up spreading very fast because you're stressing about it. You're trying to look for a way to cure it. And again, also the things that are surrounding you, like the stigma of people looking at you and everything, it kind of triggers it to spread even more. Five years ago is when things started changing for me. It's when my journey of acceptance began and it was out of something that was really sad, but it ended up being some uh, like a booster or something that pushed me to do what I'm doing right now. In many industries, being accepted as who I am is kind of something um, new. Let me call it new because when you go to somewhere like in a supermarket and you want to work at a supermarket and you have vitiligo, it's not the same reception you will get as you're working in the art industry. And I did not get to know that before because this, these are the places I was going to look for work either in a front office as a cashier or as a, as a waiter and they did not accept us that easily. But in the art industry, I kind of, so there's much love to it because to me vitiligo is patterns and I had to show people the patterns that each person with vitiligo has and how it makes them look. And um, I found it very intriguing how people in the art industry accept vitiligo as we are and they don't look at, at the, at the mis misfits that are there and how people perceive it as a sickness because to me I don't think it's a sickness to me I look at it as art that God kind of made me with some painting and some drawing in it socializing with like, especially when it comes to relationship this is one thing relationships that is marital relationships it's kind of very tricky you need to have a strong partner for them to understand what you're going through so you can be able to be free or be okay with yourself my kids are the most adorable and loving kids I've ever gotten in my life, Yanni. These are my number one supporters. And um, they know I have vitiligo, but they're also defensive. They're very defensive over me. So raw patches um, hasn't uh, grown that much. We are just three years down the line. and. Uh, what we normally do is meet up in in places like we can go to a hotel and we'd have tea and sit together like we try and commune together and people share their experiences and stories no so guys i um there's uh there's this project we're planning to do All right. yeah. Yeah. if you meet with someone who has vitiligo the first thing you should do is just tell them that they're beautiful and wonderfully made. That is a self-booster by itself. Those words are enough for someone to, who has vitiligo to open up to you. So the, the one and most important thing I think everyone should know is that once you get vitiligo, you should learn to accept yourself just the way you are so you can be able to deal with it, even to deal with the people around you without being stigmatized with it. No heels, by the way. No heels! <laughs> I'm spotted and I'm beautiful. I'm spotted and I'm beautiful. I'm human, spotted and beautiful.
Have you ever been in love? Horrible, isn't it? It makes you so vulnerable. It opens your chest and it opens up your heart and it means that someone can get inside and mess you up. You build up all these defenses. You build up a whole suit of armor so that nothing can hurt you. Then one person, no different from any other, wanders in your life. They did something dumb one day, like kiss you or smile at you, and then your life isn't your own anymore. Hey, can I write your love story? Be your lover boy. I love for Kwango baby, oku emu I could not have believed. Nigga, why could not say? Come away, and see wow. the beautiful ones <laughs> on your phone. Guess they lie, cause you were my own. The beautiful ones on your phone. Guess they lie, cause you were my own. And I've been thinking about you and thinking about how I guess that would touch you, but then my love is to somehow helplessly falling for you. Me, me, I come up and see. Now, then I just see, now see, where's it? You yell as a quack, me, not pendekas, a quack, me, not pendas, a baby. Me, me, kupeza, I promise. Together, see, don't I could chase, never let go. Come, sunshine, never let go. Come, rains, I never let go. Come, storms, I never let go. Sunshine never let go. Come, rains I never let go. Come, storms I never let go. Hey, can not be your policy? Love takes hostages. It gets inside you, it eats you out, and leaves you crying in the darkness. Hey, you guys! Hey, hey, Ben! Hey, you guys! Hey, hey, Ben! Hey, you guys! Yeah. I just have to leave. I, no. I need to go. Thank you so much. It was amazing to play for you guys, but I really do have to leave. Gosh, it's... Thank you. Bye. Can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> now see what you made me do to you. You don't even spend time with me. 
You're just out there with your friends. Music is all you think about. Now see what you made me do. Baby, I'm sorry. You know I love you, right? You love me. Say it! Yes, I love you. That's my girl. Now let's go wash you and feed you. I won't waste more time on someone like you. I gave you five minutes, but, you've taken ten. But I haven't told hey, them yet. Don't finish rehearsals. Yeah. Let's go, the... now. Hey, hey come we go. just in the imagination, not just in the mind, it's a soul heart, a real gets inside you and rips you apart pain. I hate love. Just another promise you couldn't keep.
much. Without further ado, I would like to recognize the jury, Majuma Bell, who's also an alumnus of KCA University. You can just wave so that people see you. Thank you very much. And in absentia, I want to recognize Alice Kombani, also part of the jury. A round of applause to her. And I'd also like to recognize Dina from Media Council of Kenya. A round of applause to her. Film Classification Board, Stoffa Wambua, a round of applause. And also representing the Vice Chancellor of KCA University. Can I request? the jury represented by Majuma Bell to make her remarks. Good evening. My name is Majuma Bell and um, standing in front of you here today, I have such you know, such profound memories of this specific space, having been a student at here at KCA University and right now an actress and a film producer. And today I stand here as part of the jury for this amazing ceremony. It means that the industry is going and it means that we, there's definitely a very, very bright future out there for all of us. I would like to acknowledge each and every one of us who took part in this um, competition. Thank you for submitting your films. And I must say that we all did a brilliant, brilliant job. I think one of the most things that us as filmmakers were usually scared about is starting. You know, like just throwing yourself in there and just doing it. And as a young producer, I would stand and say, this is what has been my encouragement so far, just starting. You're out here, you're a student, you've started already, you've submitted your films, you've acted, you've edited, and you've done everything that was required for you to submit that is something that is of quality for it to be at this festival today. I want to acknowledge you all and to appreciate all of you and actually to acknowledge your efforts. We are all winners at the end of it all. Thank you very much. Round of applause to Majuma Bell. It takes a lot to watch all these films and decide who gets to win. We're having a but it's possible. We are creative, so we'll do just that. A round of applause to Majuma Bell. There is in the building. Round of applause to her. Particular point I'd like to welcome the has done so much in organizing this event. I am not Some people you want to charge me. That again. Mr. Benson the Secretary General, Fletcher Kenya, who has organized a lot of things and made this possible. We thank you so much as an, as an association so that you can uh, take, take uh, us through the awards. Thank you. Thank you, Mokese. One, two. One, two, thank you. Thank you, Masese, for your kind sentiments and welcome everyone to the closing ceremony of the Kenya Film Summit, the second edition. Thank you for 
staying with us for the three days that we've been here watching the films. Very interesting discussions, very insightful uh, roundtable sessions, and we are now at the climax stage. So before we award our films, uh, or rather our students, we'd like to have our guests uh, make some few remarks, and then we'll uh, move on from there. So we'll start with our representative from the Media Council, Madam Dina. Please uh, give a round of applause for Madam Dina as she makes her remarks. And one of those um, recently penned MOUs includes um, the Performance uh, Rights Society of Kenya um, partnership, which saw the two organizations um, sign an MOU in, uh, to promote capacity building. It's equally important for our artists to uphold high professional standards, including adhering to set copyright standards and payment for licenses and other statutory fees. One of the key gaps today is failure by broadcasters to pay their licenses, which is necessary for supporting the film sector. We urge all users of creative content to return the favor and support our artists. This will uh, obviously motivate creativity, and I therefore uh, thank you so all winners at this festival and wish you success in your creative journey. Thank you so much and thank you for listening. Thank you, madam. Um, at this juncture, we'll have the next uh, speaker to make their remarks on behalf of the organizers. We have 
the organizers, uh, which the association is called the Film Lecturers and Trainers Association of Kenya. Many are represented in this room. I think I'll just ask all of them to wave from wherever they are so that we know some of them. Masese is one of them. Silva is over there. We have Dr. Dianga here. We have uh, Prof there. And uh, Biko is somewhere behind there. Lamek is there and so on and so forth. So on behalf of all these people, I'm going to invite Professor John Mugubi, the chair of the Film Lecturers and Trainers Association, and also the Dean School of Creative, Visual and Performing Arts at KU University. Please give a round of applause for Professor Mugubi. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My role is simple. I take this opportunity to uh, invite the Deputy Vice-Chancellor, KCA University, Professor Ngigi, to address the congregation. Thank you. Uh, my name is Professor Ngigi, uh, Professor of Educational Research and uh, Evaluation. I'm studying in for the Vice Chancellor and CEO of KCA University, who would have liked to be with us, but uh, he's got an engagement elsewhere told me to stand in and also deliver his uh, message. And that is what I'm going to do. But before I do that, I'm uh, thoroughly impressed by the, the kind of shows I saw here. I'm not an expert in media. Probably you are going to forgive me. Uh, but I can see a lot that we can borrow in the field of education and make it more interesting. Uh, to our students, uh, because looking at the practice and what we do in class, I'm increasingly finding it, uh, students are finding it rough uh, to be seated there, and the expert now in front there, just bombarding them, bombarding them with information, or just seated down what I was thinking. Uh, suppose we made our learning more practical oriented in a way because when I look at what I was talking here, uh, that can make a, an entire lesson. Can make a list. And uh, you are examined on that list. Uh, so the idea I have in mind is what is it that interests our students more uh, and what motivates them uh, to get engaged in a way that is beneficial to them and also beneficial to the society. And something clicked in my mind could be this theater uh, and performing. Okay, good. Uh, so allow me uh, kindly to go through uh, the write-up that I got from the vice chancellor, and I'll start doing it. Representatives from the Film Lecturers and Trainers Association of Kenya, Kenya Film Commission, Kenya Film, Film Classification Board. Media Council of Kenya, the filmmakers present, the colleague lecturers and students, a good evening. Uh, Kenya's film industry uh, stands at a central place in mirroring our cultural and national heritage as a country. Over the years, there have been major changes in film industries worldwide in response to both globalization and technological developments. The dominant position of Hollywood movies in the global film industry cannot be challenged. Hollywood itself has become increasingly international in its operations and has incorporated talents from all walks of life. For our case, we can cite notable names 
of local talents like Lupita Nyongo and uh, Eddie Gatheghi, who are already soaring high in the film industry. Perhaps the realization of the enormous economic potential of the film industry is what has led to the emergence of regional screen industries such as West Africa, Nollywood, and specifically Nigeria, and Riverwood here in Kenya, just mentioned a few. As a nation, we are uniquely positioned to be the gateway for the provision of film content to over 200 million Kiswahili speakers in the Eastern Africa region and as a regional hub and leader for film production, which can contribute to a more informed society, help to shape attitudes, alter thinking, develop the minds of local and regional viewers. Unlocking the potential of the film industry through proper training and proper uh, and policy interventions will provide the sector with the capacity uh, to create sustainable decent and wealth creation, especially among the economically excluded, excluded segments of the population, including youth, women, and persons with disabilities. The youth count for 68% of the persons seeking employment in Kenya and tapping into their innovativeness and technology savviness through a vibrant film industry can yield demographic dividends uh, for wealth creation. I want to thank our Faculty of Education, the Department of Performing Arts and Theatre for taking a leading role in training filmmakers and leading the way for the rest among all universities offering uh, the program. In film pedagogy, we may also have to rethink learning methodologies to mirror which is practiced in the industry to enable learning institutions produce or rounded filmmakers who are as knowledgeable in theory as they are in practical. No industry can thrive without research and this is why the Kenya Film Summit is a notable initiative in bringing together filmmakers and scholars share research findings and best practice which guide the industry. Thank you all for coming today and congratulations to the students who will emerge the winners tonight. Thank you very much and God bless. I've been informed by my colleague, Gobia, that I have another duty to make. And I would like to invite the CEO to come and make his, co <laughs> his comments or her comments. Good. Karibu sana. Mr. I wish Kopia mentioned Marwapua. I've done, <laughs> done it better. So, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Professor Mbubi. I'll give you for that introduction. I wish to the institutions represented here today. I think of the Council of Kenya, the Kenya Film Commission, I think they are the that organization, which we have not they are present here tonight. And of course the Deputy Vice Chancellor of the Presidential Design Council of DCA, Dr. Sabidi, and uh, the faculty, two faculty that are here, the filmmakers that are pretty present. Post colleagues from uh, KFCB, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I wish on behalf of the Kenya Film Commission, Kenya Film Classification Board, sorry, KFCB, to allow me to express my sincere gratitude for the invitation to raise 
is a world gala and closing ceremony of the Kenya Film Summit. Allow me to sincerely thank the organizers for their contribution and commitment towards ensuring that the second edition of the Kenya Film uh, Summit is a success. I'm also gratified to know that the board actively participated in the three-day summit through presentation and communication support, as well as provision of, uh, of branded publicity materials for this important uh, event. The, the support, though not very generous, as we may have wanted, demonstrates our appreciation of the key role that the summit continues to play in promoting the creative sector and in creating a facilitative environment for film students and practitioners. I am told that uh, the focus for this year's edition of the summit was initiating a discourse on film research in Kenya, and providing a platform for presentations of research papers on, on Kenya and African cinema, as well as showcasing celebrating student uh, productions of films. The thematic issues covered during the summit resonated very well with the times and the demands of the local creative industry. As you will appreciate, the COVID-19 pandemic has radically transformed the production, distribution, and uh, consumption ecosystem for the audiovisual sector in Kenya and globally. For instance, you will, you will appreciate that people are now incre increasingly consuming movies and other entertainment content in the comfort of their homes. At the same time, more studios and media distributors are developing their own direct consumer uh, streaming services. We will also appreciate that at the height of the pandemic, productions were halted and some of the most anticipated theatrical premieres were postponed. And more studios had also to forego yet theatrical releases altogether and go direct to the consumer to generate at least some income. So the role, the role of movie theaters in consumer empowerment and entertainment in the post-COVID era remains unclear. So film research will therefore go a long way in filling some of these gaps. And you will appreciate that the realization actually has created the disruptions in the film industry. It has also created opportunities. So I think there is, a, in itself, creates a lot of uh, room for us to do a lot of research to see how, for instance, the pandemic has affected the, the, the Kenyan film in industry. We need to record and research some of these uh, documents, some of these things, so that uh, as a country we may know where we are at the moment in terms of uh, developments in the film sector. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's important to note that the laws that to appreciate that uh, the, the role of KFCP is to ensure that creative works conform to Kenya's culture, moral values, and national aspirations. This responsibility is meant to protect children from premature exposure, harmful, and other content. And therefore, it is important to know that as this summit continues to, to evolve in future editions, uh, uh, come to place, we, we as a board will be willing to continue partnering with the organizers of this event so that uh, the requirements for exhibition before screening or exhibition are, are provided by, by KFCB. And we also wish to commit that uh, if you make the request in writing, the board will oblige and give the, the requisite uh, uh, waivers for classification fees. Uh, regarding concerns on whether the board regulates content exhibited on the YouTube, it is important to note that we consider the online platforms as, uh, as, 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 as space for exhibition, and therefore we consider the role of the board as, as covering all physical and online platforms, but we, we are willing for the digital platforms we are willing to, to engage in the so that 
given that the, there's a lot of content that is being produced around here, or even uh, over the top services or apps that are developed, we are willing to, to, to work with the industry to ensure that we have a regulatory framework so that so long as you understand the guidelines that are there for filming and the classification, the industry can be able to do part of that classification or regulation with us so that we, we, we can be able to facilitate industry to be able to produce, uh, distribute, uh, and distribute uh, for exhibit or screen movies with, uh, with within a very short time so that uh, the, the, the Kenyan environment can be friendly to the digital, digital world that we, we live in. We, I wish to add here that all local content that is uploaded on the platform, and here, at the platform here we are, we are talking about digital platforms, or to comply with the FUMI requirements as stipulated in the FUMI, FUMI, FUMI and Stage Plays Act, Cap 222. On the other hand, video on, on demand platforms, we consider them as not public uh, platforms. As you are aware, subscription services provide access to content that is meant for adults only and uh, the, uh, consumers of video on demand actually do so on their own volition. And so you, you realize that the, the consumption uh, patterns of video on demand and the free to air TV or even social TV is different. But nonetheless, the board is already engaging the, the voice on demand platforms to ensure that the, the content being distributed to comply the Kenya's classification system. In fact, today we had a very important uh, engagement with, uh, with Netflix regarding the uh, content that we uh, are distributing in our Kenyan space. And we have been that uh, they need to contribute and I mean, ensure that there are more more Kenyan vectors on their on their platform and they are willing to work with us in that respect to ensure that happens. We, we have also indicated that they are willing to work with the industry, Kenyan industry to treat it to ensure that they, they provide the first uh, for content that is being applied to distribution in the online platform. So I think there are many opportunities that we have group letter we will be able to share with industry by bringing, bringing uh, partners such as Netflix and other over-the-top uh, platforms that are offering additional opportunities for, for, our, for the uptake of our local content so that uh, industry is capacitated in terms of the uh, electric skills to be able to, to take advantage of the digital platform. I wish to note here that the board remains committed supporting initiatives such as the Kenya Film Summit in order to mend our local filmmakers. We are also open to working with local content creators, film students, as well as public and private sector agencies and initiatives that are geared towards supporting the community growth of the local community. In the conclusion, I wish once again thank the organizers of this important event and to congratulate the winners of the various awards this evening. Let us continue using film, promote our culture, and I beg it. I thank you.
gathering was Yamarasta, but now even our mothers who are PCA members, they are gathering. So, similar. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to ask. Uh, the procurement from the commission had some few challenges, but they promised they'll be here by the end of the night. If the end of the night is after you have gone, we'll send them to your schools. But everybody will come out of here with a certificate. So, Sylvia, just uh, come a little bit closer. And the first uh, two awards will be given by the jury representative with us today, Mwanjuma Bell. Mwanjuma Bell is an actress and a, a producer and of course our alumnus, and we are happy that she's here with us. Our other jury member was um, uh, a producer by the name Alice Kombani. She's, uh, she's not in the country, she's in Singapore. And the beauty of these digital platforms again is, nowadays we can work from everywhere. So we appreciate having uh, international judges. So Mojuma will be giving the award for the best score and the best vernacular film. So Mojuma, please uh, step forward. Right, so the award for the best score goes to Quoted. If, oh, good. So if you hear your names and or if your colleagues are not there, you can also come and pick for them. So clap for the gentleman from Quoted. can stand there for the photo opportunity. Quoted is from Kenyatta University, so please give a round of applause from Kenyatta University. All right, and the next one is the award for the best vernacular film. And this one goes to, let's see. This one goes to the film Tasha. Yeah, there she comes. Let's give her a round of applause. Please give a round of applause for Tasha. Tasha is also from Kenyatta University. Thank you very much, uh, Mwajuma. Um, the next guest to award will be the Dean of Students from KCA University. This is Mr. Lamek Angila. Please give a round of applause for Mr. Lamek Angila as he comes forward. <laughs> Lamek will be giving the award for the best experimental film, the best voiceover artist, and the best uh, documentary. Best experimental film, best voiceover artist, and the best documentary. Thank you, Ngobs. Um, beautiful. Best experimental film goes to Roommates. Roommates. Makofi kwake tafadhali. Best voiceover Davis Rono in Why Me? Davis Rono.
sorry. Um, best documentary goes to Spotted Beauty, Kenya Film School. Makofi Kwao. Spotted Beauty, Kenya Film School. Makofi Kwao Tafadhali. Give a round of applause for the Kenya Film School as they take their seats. Thank you, Dean Lamek. The next uh, guest to award our students is uh, our producer by the name Matrid Nyaga. Matrid, please uh, come forward. Matrid is our Oscar-nominated producer in the Student Oscars for the film What Water. So students around, you should talk to her to find out how to get to the Oscars. Matrid Karibu. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to everyone who participated and the winners of tonight. So best producer goes to Tasha from KU. Tumpigeni makofi afike. And the second one is Best Solo Film, Alone, from KC, KCA. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much, Madrid. Please clap for Madrid as she sits down. The next uh, presenter of the award is Mr. John Wambogo from Canon, North and Central Africa. Please clap for John as he comes forward. Canon is one of the Flatter Kenya's partners uh, where we do a lot of workshops on cinematography, photography and lighting. So we are happy to have Mr. John with us today, Karibu. John will be awarding the best cinematography, best lighting, and best editing. Maybe he'll give them a camera. Who knows? <laughs> so congratulations again to all the winners, yeah? Drum rules, I think. Uh, so as I call this. So, oh, the name, oh, the name is here. Oh, okay. So best uh, cinematographer goes to Coated from KU. Musisikie wivu muna piga makofi baka amalize alafu waketi chini. Mutashinda siku moja bia nyinyi. is uh, uh, best lighting. It goes to roommates from KU. Hey, KU. Next one is uh, best editor. It goes to CEO Milele from Moe University. Moe University is not with us today, but uh, we'll have one of the organizers receive this on our behalf. Sylvia, please receive the award on behalf of Moe University. So clap for Sylvia on behalf of Moe University. Thank you. The, cinema, the photographers are very mad that you are outside the banner position. 
Biko usimeze watu pole pole. <laughs> okay, thank you very much John. Please clap for John as he sits down. The next award will be given by Madam Dina from the Media Council. This is the award for the best supporting actress and the award for the best lead actress. So please clap for Madam Dina as she comes in front. Good evening once again. Uh, the best supporting actress award goes to Mother-in-law. Uh, the next award, that is the best lead actress, goes to Tiffany Murugi in Coated from KU. <laughs> KU, Akona Awards, Mingi Sana, Wapi Nduru Ya KU? Congratulations. <laughs> Please clap for Madame as she sits. Oh, sorry. The uh, presenters of the awards, you come closer to the banners. You don't stay away from the banners. Frank, please move this to the side. Thank you. Uh, the next presenter presenting the award for Best Supporting Actor and Best Lead Actor is Dr. Rachel Dianga from USIU. So please, can we clap for Dr. Rachel Dianga as she comes forward? Good evening, everyone. And I'll be presenting to you the Best Supporting Actor for once. <laughs> Quoted again. <laughs> From KU. Now, the best lead actor, roommates from KU. Please clap for Dr. Diang as she takes a seat. <laughs> Presenting the award for the best animation and best visual effects, we'll have Professor John Mugubi from KU, Prof. Karibu. Please clap for Prof. <laughs> Let us see whether this is still KU. Uh, best animation, KCA University. <laughs> Any representative from uh, K 
KCAU. Next award, Best Visual Effects, Sio Milele Moi University. <laughs> Any representatives? Sylvia will receive on their behalf. Let's clap for Prof as he takes a seat, um, presenting the award of the best short film and the award of the best feature film. And I suspect this is the first time he has ever presented such an award. Professor Simon Gigi Karibsana. Please clap for Prof. He will confirm whether he has presented an award for films before. <laughs> I know he presents masters and PhDs. Yeah, it's the first time, it's the first time, yeah. All right, good. Best, best shot. Rumata, Rumits, KU. Best feature film, The In Law, KU. Akuna <laughs> KU? Thank you very much, Prof. Okay. And to wrap up the award ceremony for the day, we are going to have our chief guest, Mr. Christopher Wambua, to award the awards for the best director and the best institution. So please clap for Mr. Wambua as he comes forward. And uh, the winner of the best director is Nancy Wanja in the in-law. Congratulations. <laughs> this, this is KU again. The KU is running with the price. <laughs> And the winner for the best institution category is Kenyatta University. <laughs> oh. KU started teaching film in 2008, and some of us were in the pioneer class, but we have been winning these things sometimes with USIU, with Kenya Film School. So today we allow KU to win because they need, uh, they need the awards. <laughs> okay, thank you very much uh, to our guests. Please let us clap for KU uh, for their good showing at this particular festival.
Thank you very much. Let us take this up as tasks uh, or rather as a challenge, all of us. I think the summit is all about collaboration and working together to create more films. And uh, after the last summit, we actually saw a, a, a few of such films being produced. So let us keep on doing that. And uh, all schools presented, all schools which submitted films, we thank you all and we appreciate you for participating in this particular summit. So at this juncture, I want to invite Dr. Rachel Dianga to make her, to give the vote of thanks, after which we'll um, have a final word of prayer and we'll take some snacks as we take some photos at the uh, photo booth outside there. So please clap for Dr. Dianga as she makes her way forward. What do I use in big and coffee to make you a son? I think this is one of those evenings I reintroduce myself as uh, an alumni of KU. <laughs> you know, you choose how to introduce yourself depending on the occasion. And a student of Professor Mugubi, who has still taught those students who are now sweeping all their words tonight. Okay, KU, this hour. So, <laughs> good evening once again. I really uh, I want to stand here. In my, I told you, you introduce yourself the way you feel like. So in my capacity as the vice chair of Fleta Kenya, we are very uh, pleased as Fleta Kenya that you actually found time to come and be with us in, these, in the last three days. There's been a lot of activities. And uh, first and foremost, I would like to appreciate the students who have been in this hall the whole time. I was here on Monday. I wasn't able to come yesterday, but students have been here throughout, watching, participating, uh, asking questions. Really, we do appreciate your commitment. And uh, we, we know that for the students to be here, they must have been allowed by their institutions to be here. And so we really want to appreciate all the institutions that participated by sending students, by releasing their faculty and other staff to come here. Uh, also by submitting their films. We want to appreciate uh, very, very immensely our jury, uh, led by Madam Bell. Nice to see you and thank you for the good job. We really appreciate that. Also, uh, Madam Alice Kombani in absentia, we really appreciate her. Uh, our guests this evening couldn't have been a success without you, and uh, I would really want to say this on behalf of the organizers, that is FETA Kenya. Uh, I would like to appreciate you from the depth of our hearts. Kenya Film Commission, we can feel your presence in the house, even if we can't see anyone. Uh, Kenya Film Classification Board, our chief guest tonight, thank you so much, Mr. Wambua. Uh, we want to appreciate Talanta Institute for not just sending students and participants and also participating in other ways, but also by, uh, for, for, for them to have supported the event, uh, especially the live streaming on day one, and it was amazing. I want to appreciate <coughs> our host institution, KCA University. Uh, Yes, 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 we need that, they need that. They've gone beyond uh, the mark to keep us entertained, to keep us satisfied, well taken care of, it's been amazing. And so we really want to appreciate, please uh, Prof, pass our appreciation to the management and staff uh, led by Professor Isaiah Wakindiki. And uh, we really appreciate even your presence here tonight <clears throat> we know that management doesn't work at night, but you are here, you are with us in a very strange environment of artists and filmmakers, animators. Welcome. The beauty is that filmmaking and animation usually can make use of, with, we can make do with anyone. So please welcome. If you can't uh, hold the camera, you can do the voiceovers and get an award next time. So thank you so much, Prof Ngige. Uh, I would also want to uh, lastly, uh, well, not lastly, uh, almost lastly, I appreciate the executive committee of FLETA Kenya, led by our dear chairman, Professor John Mugubi. Thank you for finding time to be with us. Uh, usually, I don't forget our technical team, the people who are right now busy with cameras and busy with the tripods and all that. We don't take your services for granted. I always make it a point to always appreciate you for what you do during events. So 
feel appreciated, thanks so much. Just remember to give us the photographs. And very, very <clears throat> finally, though not the least, our dear lady Sarah Masese for being a very able and very uh, informed <laughs> MC tonight. And so for everyone, thank you. If I didn't mention you, it's not by design. By, uh, by just something that didn't happen, but I don't think anyone here has not been mentioned. So thank you, everyone. Of course, Ngobia, forever we are indebted to you. So back to you. Thank you, Dr. Yes, I'm also an alumnus of KU, so it was a big win for us tonight. And uh, yeah, we appreciate a lot. Thank you, KCA University, for hosting us. We are, we are happy for, <laughs> for coming through for us today. It was a wonderful night. Yeah, thank you. Um, the, the trophies have arrived, so it's, but I will just I'll get one so that you all see also the trophies look like that we will award to KU, uh, my school, uh, through Professor Mugobi. <laughs> uh, so I'll ask our chief guest, Mr. Ambua, to just... Um, uh, come over once more and Prof Mugubi and we hand over one of the awards and then the rest of the awards we'll have to we'll hand over to the students later. So let me just have one of the KU awards there. So Prof, please Karibu and uh, Mr. Ambua so that we give this award and then we say a word of prayer. Thank you. So this is how our trophies look like. So please clap for KFC in absentia for supporting us with this. So we'll hand this over to KU on their behalf. Prof. Chukua. Okay, so. <laughs> so clap for KU once again as they receive um, the award. Just turn the trophy to face us. Turn the trophy. Turn the trophy to face us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Ameto Amiwani. Yes, so thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you also, Bona CEO. Okay, so I would like us to, once again, thank you everybody for coming. We have a cup of uh, tea, we have a snack bar. So the bar will open in the next uh, few minutes. <laughs> and then we'll be able to have uh, a few more snacks as we head out. Again, we'll have the photo booth ready in a short while to take photos. So um, let us all say grace as we leave the meeting. May we say the grace? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Once again, thank you very much and ensure you take a photo and uh, have fun as we leave the, the meeting network. Know a few people, you might win awards, more awards next time. Thank you very much.